And over the next uh, several weeks, I'm going to be broadcasting live here on Facebook uh, about some insights behind the scenes and uh, stories and interviews from the Olympics, but very specifically from an angle around time. So welcome for the f to the first show. I'm going to just uh, discuss a little bit about why the Olympics are the greatest party on earth. And they really are. And this is widely accepted, by the way, of people that have attended both Summer and Winter Olympics and other major events, be it Wil Wimbledon or what have you. The Winter Olympics have this amazing thing, this, this atmosphere. We don't have good words in English. Gemütlichkeit, the uh, Germans would say. There's something special about the environment. What, what happens is that because of the cold, I think, and it's a smaller, it's a smaller uh, group than Summer Olympics, everybody talks to everybody. There's a sort of unwritten permission for everybody to speak to everybody. So you walk into a cafe or a bar or you're out in the streets and everybody asks everybody else, where are you from? Who are you here for? Common question. Are you there for your niece, your nephew, your brother, your son? And then they talk about the sports and things they're doing and where to go and where to be. The other cool thing about the sport and the Olympics that most people don't know are these secret parties and houses. And I'll get into more of this in uh, future episodes, but there is the USA house. This is a enclave for only Olympians and their parents and a couple of sponsors where special secret ceremonies happen every night, like the Order of the Ecos. I'll be talking about that later. There is the P&G house, Procter & Gamble house. That's another gathering place. The Visa house, the, the granddaddy of them all, the Heineken Holland house where there's a raging party every single night, particularly on the nights where uh, speed skating is going on. So there's all these parties, all these houses, all these, these events, and you've got the greatest athletes in the world coming from all over to come c compete in these amazing, super cool events. And by the way, the athletes are always out. Uh, you know, unlike professional sports where there's a, you know, a cordon of security around them. Most of these athletes have toiled in anonymity for their entire lives. And so for the first time, they actually get some recognition. So they're out in their uniforms taking pictures. Everywhere you go, you'll see tourists taking pictures with teams in their uniforms. A really, really amazing, amazing event. So I'm going to pull this one to a close. And uh, welcome to again to Beyond the Podium. And the next episode, we're going to start talking about some of the athletes. The first uh, athlete I'm going to talk about in the next episode is Emery Lehman, right here from Chicago, and uh, actually I used to coach him, and he's on his way to the second Olympics, uh, his second Olympics, where he is the youngest skater on the team in his second Olympics. So that tells you how young he was when he made his first Olympics. All right, we'll see you next time. Don't know if that